Hi, this is Josh from MYOB Enterprise Solutions. In this video, we'll look at how to import external timesheets into the payroll module of MYOB Advanced. The 2019.1.3 release of MYOB Advanced added the ability to import timesheets into the payroll module. These timesheets can be generated from external applications or from employee timecards entered in MYOB Advanced. When timesheet data is imported into a pay run, pay items based on the timesheet data are created or updated automatically. Before you can begin importing timesheets into the payroll module, you'll need to set up data maps to specify how the data from the timesheets will be mapped to payroll fields. First, select the data source type. One default type is available, but you can create more if you need to. If you're going to be importing data from MYOB Advanced Timecards, set up a new type and tick the Timecard Type box. Once you've picked the type, you can map data for the three types of entities that will be imported from the timesheets – employees, pay items, and subaccounts. For each type of entity, the data map screen lists all entities in the advanced system in the first two columns, and you'll need to enter corresponding details as they'll appear in the timesheet data. You can either enter the details manually, or export the data to a spreadsheet, enter it there, and then import it back into the data map screen. Note that you don't need to map every record on the screen at once. Any unmapped records will just be ignored when you come to import timesheet data. Once mapping has been set up, you can begin producing timesheet import files and importing them into the payroll module on the Import Timesheet screen. Import files should be Excel files with the same column layout as the main table on the screen. The easiest way to create an import file template is to click the Export button on the main table toolbar to export a blank table to Excel. This will create a file with the required column headings in the correct order. You can delete the columns after amount. These columns relate to data from the MYOB Advanced system that will be filled in by the data mapping process. To import files, create a new import batch and click the Upload Timesheet action. Browse to the file you want to import, then select it and click Upload to import the data into this batch. If your data source has the Timecard Type box ticked, an Import Timecards action is also available. Click this option to import MYOB Advanced Timecards. Timecards are generated against a specific week. When importing timecards, you'll need to specify the range of weeks to import timecards from. Once data is imported, it needs to be mapped according to the data maps you set up before. To begin with, warning messages appear next to the imported records. These will disappear once the data is mapped. If you need to, you can edit the data after it's imported. You might need to do this if there are any errors or records that aren't included in the data map. Any manual edits can be applied back to the data map if necessary. Once batches of timesheet data have been imported into the payroll module and mapped, you can bring that timesheet data into specific pay runs. On the Payrun Details screen, click the Import Timesheet Action for an open pay run. The system scans all timesheet batches for records that have a date within the pay period of the pay run, have an employee who's included in the pay run, and that aren't already associated with any other pay run. These records then added to the employee's current pays. If the pay item on a timesheet record doesn't exist in the employee's standard pay, that item will be added to the employee's pay automatically. Once you've imported timesheet details into a pay run, you can click the Time Summary button to open the Pay Run Time Summary window. This shows you an overview of all the timesheet records that have been imported into the pay run. Any difference in the imported quantity and the actual quantity appearing in the employee's pays will be highlighted. The Non-Imported Details tab shows you any records that were present in the imported timesheet batches but weren't imported into this pay run. This can alert you to any problems in the data that may have resulted in records being left out of the import. If you need to undo a timesheet import, if, say, there was a problem with the imported data and you need to re-import it, you can click the Undo Timesheet Import action on the Pay Run Details screen to remove all data that was added to the pay by the import process. You can also undo individual employees' timesheet imports by selecting them and clicking the Reset button to reset their pay to the standard pay. Once a pay has moved into the Processing or Complete statuses, you can no longer alter the imported timesheet data. However, if you cancel or reverse the pay run, any timesheet imports in the pay run will be undone and you can create a new pay run to correct them. And that concludes our look at importing timesheet data into the MYOB Advanced Payroll module. Thanks for watching.